Let's say just you finish build the code and you're gonna pass this code to a tester to test it on his machine. But that code not gonna work because both of you, you are not using the same environment. And this is gonna create a huge conflict between the developers and testers. But how we gonna solve this? The answer is Docker. The tool that can package softwares into containers and run reliably in any environment. In this video, we're gonna show you and explain for you how Docker works. This is Muhammad Hamdi and welcome to another episode in our channel. So let's take a look at a general workflow of Docker. Now a developer will define all the application and its dependencies and all its requirements in a file which is called a docker file. Now this file can be used to create a docker images. So in a docker image, you will have all the application with all its dependencies and requirements. And, and when you run docker image, you get a docker containers. So docker containers are the runtime instances of a docker image. And these images can also be stored in an online cloud depository, which is called as a docker hub. So if you go to Docker Hub, you will find a lot of publicly available images and you can store your own Docker image as well. You can store also your Docker image in your own repository or version control system. Now these images can be pulled to create containers in any environment. So you can create a Docker container in a test environment or, or any other environment. And we can be sure that our application will run in the same way using Docker containers. The Docker container only virtualizes OS. In other words, all the app in containers are run by a single kernel. And this is make almost everything faster and more efficient. Installing Docker is not really that complicated. All we have just to type is apt install docker.eo and you are just good to go. And we're gonna just verify right now that we have Docker running in our machine. And here is that, a Docker running on our Ubuntu. So let's try just to understand how it works. Imagine that you can just run a Kali in a Docker. So that's why we're gonna just pull an image from a Docker hub, which is a Kali image. We're gonna copy this command and wait for some few seconds just to download. Right now we're gonna run Kali image inside a Docker container. So we're gonna just type docker one dash d dash t and we're gonna put the name of our container. Let's just name it the first container. And after we're gonna just type the name of the image, which is the Kalinux image, right? And here is that. It gives us the idea of the container. So let's verify that. We're gonna type Docker PS. And here we go. You can just verify here. So let's try to just execute a Kali. So we're gonna just type docker exact-it and we're gonna just put the name of the container and we're gonna gain a bash. Here is that. Here we're gonna find that we are inside a galley. And if you're gonna just verify the version, here we go. You are just inside a galley machine that is running on a docker. So let's just here try something different. Let's say that I wanna just download a vulnerable app, which is called a juice job that you can just practice your testing skills on. I'm gonna just pull the image of a juice chop app, which is an amazing app, by the way, to practice your pen testing still on. And we're gonna just download it here. And here we go. And after that, we're gonna just run this app on a Docker. And we're gonna just type docker run dash dash aram. And after we're gonna just select the ports and the name of our image. So question here. Are we just downloaded the requirement or any kind of it dependencies? No, we just downloaded the image and it just worked perfectly. And if we're gonna access right now to the app, we're gonna find that it just works. And it's an amazing to know that we didn't install any kind of the requirement. Just we pull the image and we run it directly. And that's all for today episode. I hope that you're just totally enjoyed. And I hope if you like this video, just don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.